I'm with that, okay? I'm not, but I'm just, let, you can say whatever you want. I didn't say that, you said that. That's what I mean. So when that happens, and I said, oh, okay, and I look to their animal, I'll let them tell me about it. Because I don't want to misgender their animal. If you're misgender, you're confused about that. So I don't want to be confused about your animal. Do you hear what I'm saying, Brenda? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for real, I'm talking about on real time, I'm dealing with this. Yeah. So this is... Yeah, so this is what they'll do. I say, oh, Timmy, oh, it's so fluffy. So I don't I don't bring him here, male or female into it. I say, oh, it's so cute. What, what, tell me about him. I'll say them or whatever it is. Oh, he's this, and we just had him neutered in the whole bit. And I'm like, do you realize how crazy that sounds? That your animal is more secure in its identity than you are. And the vet didn't confuse it either. The vet didn't confuse it. When you brought your lizard by the vet, the vet was like, yeah, this it's a lizard. This, this bearded dragon is definitely female. And then she's going to produce eggs and she's going to do this. That is a deep darkness over people. And it'd be different if it was in one corner of people somewhere in Idaho somewhere, but it's not. It's, be, it's a delusion. It's happy upon the people. I know you're going to go. Good to see you. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. We well, bless you. So that's just... We know in this room that's just one aspect of this darkness. Um, and the people even in the world, they're waking up to this that once you legalize something, then it gets dangerous. It, it, can, it can affect your livelihood. That's a problem. It's one thing if that's your opinion and we're talking on the street. So we're, we're seeing this happen in real time to us, right? But, but Jesus goes on to say he's speaking as the word through this chapter. Verse 3, it says, the Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. He goes on to talk about how the Gentiles will bring wealth to the people of Israel and how your prodigals will come back. As we shine with this wisdom, as we arise, yes. there are going to be those, you won't have to go find them. They're going to find you. They're going to come to you. And they're going to need beacons. Right? I'll get to that in one second. So what makes the bride of Christ shine in radiance? The wisdom and power of God, personified in Jesus himself, rising will cause this. We've got to be, when we stand up, it's activated. We've got to take a stand. The exaltation and promotion of God's people by his hand in due time. God is going to promote people that have waited. They've been, they're waiting. Like Beth said, I love what she preached so much. Because she said Moses <clears throat> got to encounter the manifest presence of God. David built in preparation for the presence of God. Yes. It was for his son. The next generation walked in it. So whether you're preparing for it or whether you're walking in it, that, that we want that to be our part. We want to be a part of that. Amen. 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 Really spoke to me. In this season, we will be clothed with wisdom and shine like stars. Now, we'll have you turn to this one. I think this is our... Last verse. This is Daniel 12, 3. Again, this is a prophetic word. This part is what's happening and is going to happen. There's going to be such a people. <clears throat> they're going to be shining with wisdom. Mm -hmm. I started to just imagine myself. How different am I going to be as God's changing me? You know, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. There's no inertia in the spirit, by the way. There's no um, standstill in the spiritual realm. So you're either getting closer to the Lord and shining brighter, or you're getting darker and you're getting dimmer. Right? So as we shine brighter, eventually you can be. A candle that's lit. You can be a city on a hill. You can turn into a beacon. Now when you're a beacon, storms can find you in the dark. Just from shining. You're not having to go find them in the dark. Just from you standing and you're just reading your word. You're spending time with the Lord. You're praying in the spirit. You know, that communion with him. You're loving all people. Man, it's good to see y'all. Just, just a gentle quiet like Francis Chan, he preached a message of quiet life. If you haven't heard it, I was weeping, man. It was so powerful. 
but he talked about this quiet life. But just by living like that, and as you're just quietly just pursuing the Lord one day at a time, you are growing brighter to the point where people are going to seek you out because they're in trouble. They're in darkness. They're in they're those boats that are out to sea and they can't make it to shore. So we continue in the fear of the Lord on the highway of holiness. And we have a light that so shines, it will grow into a beacon. And ships will come from afar. I didn't read all of Isaiah 60, that whole chapter, but it, it talks about this in the ninth verse. It says the ships of Tarshish will come. Yeah. So it says boats will come. As you're a beacon, they're going to come. Yeah. Right? Wisdom is not simply for problem solving in our realm. It is a way of life to God. It is how he builds, creates, sets boundaries, and makes parameters. This wisdom is for us. Father, I thank you for your wisdom. In any bit, Lord, of your word that has ignited something in these two precious ones, even in burden of the Lord, I just I want to hear from you. I want to be wise myself. <clears throat> and uh, as leaders of this work, I pray that we use wisdom. I just release wisdom over myself first. And I release the spirit of wisdom over Beth and Cynthia. God, for our, our finances. Show us areas. I'm going to do, I'm budgeting tonight, Lord, to show me areas where I'm missing and things to let go, things to add. How to create wealth in the climate we're in, Lord. Things about our health. I thank you that what you've given me is working. And I pray by your grace, I continue in it. I pray that for Beth and Cynthia, any place, if their knees are sore, if this hurts, Lord, I pray for extended healing to Cynthia. With her real, Lord, I, I just pray that your hand was so touch. Give us wisdom. Sometimes it's one thing that we can change. Lord, how to um, reach out and expand the ministry to reach those that you intend. Yes, Lord. We need your wisdom. And Lord, I pray that we are become we become wise. Above all else, that we become so wise that people long to hear what we have to say. That when we say, I'm thinking about something, I have a dream in my heart, and I can trust you. Why? Because you're peaceable. You're gentle. You're willing to yield. You, you don't act like you have all the answers. I see a humility in you. I can come to you and ask you this. You don't show any partiality. You don't have favoritism. Lord, we're going to rule and reign in the next life. And we're going to make so many judgments. We're going to judge angels. We're going to judge the world. So we are going to have to have wisdom. We're going to have to be wisdom.